Hello everyone, it is Dee Rondinella, your technology training coordinator for the Stark Library with this week's sneak peek into technology, Excel mouse pointers. I've been teaching Excel for a long time and I've noticed the frustration that people have when they don't know or understand the different types of mouse pointers that appear with each function. I thought I would take some time today and show you some of them. I'm going to start at the very top and you're going to follow my mouse. And so when I'm on the very top, you're gonna to see that the mouse pointer is the traditional arrow. This means that you can select a function or a feature in Excel and have it work. The next one, if you pull down your mouse, you're going to notice that it turns into what looks like a capital I. When you see that, that means if you left click, this box, the formula bar, will receive information. In other words, you can type there. If I continue on and come down here to what we call the headers, we have our column headers and we have our row headers, you're going to notice that the pointer turns from a white arrow or blue for my arrow into a black arrow that points down or one that points to the right. That is your grand highlighter. When you click on that, it will highlight the uh, entire column or the entire row. This will allow you to change certain features inside of Excel quickly for all of those cells within that column or that row. The next thing I want to do is have you look when you hover over between the two columns. You notice I'm between A and B. My pointer now turns to a line with double arrows. This is telling me that I may manually open and close my columns or my rows. So what I'm going to do is when I left click and I hold it, look, I can widen that column. I can do the same thing here with the rows. If I had something type in, for instance, dog, and I come up to that same area and I give it a double left click, it automatically reduces to the size of the longest piece of information in that column or that row. I'm going to manually open that up a little bit because we're going to use that word dog so that I may show you the others. All right. Your next thing I want you to see is when you come down over the cells, you're going to see your pointer turns into a white plus sign. That white plus sign means highlight or select. If I click on a cell, you're going to notice it gets a green line around it. That means I have selected it. But what if I need to select a group? I look for that white plus sign, I left click, hold it, and I drag it across. This is called sequential highlighting, and it will highlight all of those cells within that green square, and you may make changes that you need to do. The next is a non sequential type of highlighting. When I click on that, again, I see my white plus sign, but this time I would hold down my control key on my keyboard and I may click on different cells in the file and it will highlight those. And I may make changes using that feature. Now let's go ahead and continue on. To make this go away, all I'm gonna do is click. Now, one of the others I would like to show you is that moving pointer. And that one's important, that one gets a lot of people. You need to move your information from one cell into another. When you click on that um, cell with the information you need to move, you will ho hover over the border of the cell. And you're gonna notice your pointer turns into a four pointed arrow with an extra little white arrow where it's hanging onto. That's your moving arrow. When you see that, you can left click, Hold it and notice you can drag. Now you're going to see beneath the arrow that the column header and row header are revealed. So it's telling me if I let go right now, I will drop my information in column K, row A. Let's see if it works. Notice there I am. My information has been drug over to column K, row 8. I'm going to take it back. Same method. Hover over the border, left click hold it, drag it, and drop it. One more pointer that I would like to show you is around here. You notice right here, there's a square. Now that square is very important. That is autofill. 
when I hover directly over that square, you're going to see my pointer turns into a black plus sign. When you see that, you left click and you hold and you drag it down, you're going to notice that it copies your information. It's a great feature, but it can also do a lot more for you. Let's come over here and I'm going to type in January, just abbreviated, 2020. And I'm going to come back up to that little area and I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it. This is an autofill feature that is embedded inside of Excel. It's there for dates, sequences of numbers, and other items that you yourself can create and have available to you. Now, these are just a few of the features that I wanted to show you in Excel. If you need any help in the future, please let me know. You can contact me at trainer at starklibrary.org, or you can contact the library at my phone number, 330-458. 3150. And I'd be delighted to help you. And thank you and have a great day.